Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to root your Galaxy S10, S10e, or S10 Plus for the Exynos models, also the A50. Let's go and take a look. Hi guys, before I begin um, rooting your Galaxy S10, S10 Plus, S10e, A50 will void your warranty forever, also will um, disable your Samsung Pay forever. Also, will dis um, disable your S Health. Um, I think there's a few other things, but you will be able to reuse S Health with a custom ROM. Um, other than that, we're ready to go. Hi right, guys. First, before I begin, you do need to have an Exynos model of the Galaxy S10, S10e, S10 Plus, or the A50. I'll show you how to check that. Um, so first thing you're gonna do is go into settings and scroll down to about phone and notice the model number mine is a SMG 973F which is a Galaxy S10 Exynos model if your model ends in F you're good to go if your model ends in N you're good to go all right those are the only models supported if you have Galaxy S10e it's going to be SM-G 970F or N S10 plus is going to be SM-G 975F or N. All the supported models will be listed on my website, so please go ahead and check that first before beginning this guide. If you do have a model that's supported, we're ready to go. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and go down to software information, tap on that. Make sure you have Android version 9. This root guide is only for Android version 9. If you don't have that, use another method or I should have an updated video. Alright, next you're gonna go ahead and go to build number, hit it five times. And it will say developer mode has been turned on real quick there. All right, hit the back button twice. Go down, go to developer options. You should see an option for OEM unlocking. If you don't see it, it's because there's this thing called seven day jail. If you just got your phone, you'll have to wait seven days and come back to this tutorial um, so you can try that. Um, so go ahead and turn that on. Once you have turned that on, you're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and power off our phone. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and hold down the volume down and the Bixby, volume down and Bixby. You can do this one, with one thumb. If you have trouble, you could try um, help getting help from somebody else. And then you're gonna connect it to the cable to your computer, not to your charger, to your computer. And this will enter you into warning mode, download mode. All right, you're gonna go ahead and do a long press up. So go ahead and hold down the volume up and hold it down. And then it will ask you to unlock the bootloader. Hit volume up to say yes. All right. And this will fully unlock your bootloader. All right. And you may get this error. Don't worry. Hit the power key to continue. All right. We're going to go ahead and let it boot. And this will erase everything on your phone. And it's going to... Uh, wipe everything. All right, hit the power key again. Your um, your device has been wiped. All right, once booted, go ahead and sign in normally and also connect to Wi-Fi. So once signed in, go ahead and connect it to your Wi-Fi. Okay, once connected to Wi-Fi, we're gonna do the same exact thing, go into settings, Go into about phone, go into software information, hit the build number five times. And once developer mode has been turned on, we'll go to developer options. And you should see now OEM unlocking grayed out just like that. All right, you should, you should just see it grayed out. If you don't see it grayed out, you didn't unlock the bootloader yet. So when that's done, we're ready to go. All right guys, next go ahead and open up your browser. You have to sign in. Next, go ahead and go to highonandroid.com. All right, the actual URL. Um, don't Google it because it'll give you the um, non-official version. So highonandroid.com, go into the menu, go under Rooting and Majisk and Super SU. All right, and you'll see an option for download Majisk Manager Canary APK for Galaxy S10, S10e, S10 Plus, A50. Go ahead and click on that and you come to the download page. Go ahead and go down to um, here where it says click here to download and do a long press 
and hit download link. Continue allow, download. Okay. All right, once that's downloaded, go ahead and hit open. Go into your settings, allow from the source, hit the back button, install. This will install the um, the canary version of Magisk Manager, which will allow you to, to patch your firmware. Next, we're gonna go ahead and connect it to our computer and make sure you hit allow to phone data. All right. All right, guys, next, you're gonna go have to download the actual firmware for your Galaxy S10, S10e, S10 Plus. You can find it all at sammobile.com slash firmwares. Um, so all of these models you can download here. I have the Galaxy S10 SMG 973F. So I'm gonna go ahead and search that. Now, you can actually go ahead and use any of these firmwares, but if you do have a certain per preference such as carrier um, bloatware you absolutely need, then go ahead and download the appropriate um, country firmware. All right, but again, you can go ahead and download any of these and they're compatible um, regardless of country. Um, so I did download the Spain Vodafone because I have the Spanish Galaxy S10. Um, I'm not sure which Spanish model it is, but I'm just gonna go ahead and download the closest one. So click there and the firmware download may take a long time, like four or five hours if you're on the free service. I've actually signed up for their fast service because I root a bunch of phones. Um, so give this time four or five hours on a good connection and download it, all right? Uh, once that file has been downloaded, go into your downloads folder. Here, go ahead and double click on the firmware file and extract all. Once you extract it, you'll have a folder called um, the name of the file, the firmware file, and also all the files you need. You'll also need two more files. Go to highonandroid.com, go to rooting, Odin and drivers, and go ahead and download Odin, and also go ahead and download Samsung USB drivers. Now all the download links are again at the bottom here. Just wait till it says click here to download and download, all right? And that's pretty much it. You should have three files. If you go back to your download folder, um, you should have the firmware file you downloaded earlier. You should have the Samsung USB driver. This is the driver file for Windows, works for all the Windows. And also you should have downloaded the Odin 3 blah blah dot zip. Also go ahead and extract all. And this will give you a folder called Odin 3 underscore V 3.13.1 with all the files you need. All right, next, you're gonna go ahead and go into your firmware file and you're gonna do a right click copy on the AP file, the file beginning in AP. This is the actual firmware file. And we're gonna go ahead and copy into the Galaxy S10, into the phone, into the download folder, just like that, and paste. All right, once that's been copied over, let's go back to our phone. Go ahead and open the Magisk Manager you just installed. It'll say not installed. Go ahead and hit install. Go ahead and hit install again. Choose select and patch a file. Hit allow. And you're gonna go ahead and go into your downloads folder and go ahead and choose the firmware file you just copied over. And this will patch the actual firmware with um, root. And we're gonna go ahead and recopy this back into our computer. And then we will reflash it using Odin. All right, when that's done, you're good to go. Close it and go back to your computer with your phone connected as a disk drive. Go back to your uh, phone storage, go to download and go ahead and copy over the magisk underscore patch.tar. That's the new file. Go to your downloads folder and paste it. All right, once that's been copied over, go ahead and unplug the cable. We're gonna go ahead and turn off our phone. All right, once it's been turned off, we're going to, again, hold down the volume down and the Bixby. Volume down, Bixby. And we're going to go ahead and connect it to the USB cable to your computer. You should be in warning mode again. And hit the volume up key. And you should be in download mode, just like that. Okay, next, we're going to go to our computer, go into the Odin folder. Double click on the Odin program. And you should see a sky blue highlighted box like this, a blue highlighted box. If you don't see it, go back to your downloads folder and run the Samsung USB driver blah blah.exe. And this will install the drivers. Once it's installed, 
Go ahead and unplug your USB, plug it back in, and you should see a blue, blue highlighted box. If you see that, you're good to go. Choose AP. You're going to go ahead and choose Magisk Patch tar and also go into the options make sure auto reboot is checked off this will allow your phone to not reboot after flashing is done all right and you're gonna go ahead and hit start and this will flash the patched the root patched uh, system which is the new way of rooting the Galaxy S10 uh, thanks to Top John Wu uh, the developer of Majisk who has invented this method so we could root our Galaxy S10, S10 Plus, S10e, A50. All right, guys, when that's done, um, it should say pass. Next, let's go into our phone. Uh, you don't need the cable anymore. You're going to go ahead and hold down volume down and the power key to reset. Once it's reset, it, you're going to immediately hold down volume up. Bixby and the power. So let me go ahead and demonstrate. So we're going to go hold down volume down and power. When it resets, we're going to move this hand up to the volume up. Bixby and the power. So ready? So I'm going to hold down volume down and the power. And as soon as it resets, I'm going to hold down volume up, Bixby and power immediately. And keep holding it down. And let go of the power button and let go of the rest of the buttons. Now you should be in stock recovery. Now, if you do miss this step, you will have to reflash the official firmware, but you can go ahead and try it again. It's not the end of the day. I'll have a unroot tutorial. Go ahead and follow that. If you miss this step, um, your phone might be in a brick state, but you can go ahead and unroot it and retry this step again. Um, you're gonna go ahead and go down to wipe data factory reset, hit the power key, Say yes. All right, and you're gonna go ahead and hit the power key to reboot system now. That's pretty much it. The phone should reboot by itself a few times. Um, make sure you hit power key to continue. Don't worry about the warning message. It just means that you're not running the official firmware. You're rooted. All right, another note, uh, when you do boot your phone, you do have to hold down volume up uh, Bixby and the power to get actual root. If you just boot without that, you will have booted without root. So this is a new way of um, basically booting your phone, which I'll show you after we root also. Okay guys, once booted up, go ahead and sign in. All right, once signed in, you don't see Magisk Manager, go ahead and power off. This is because there's two ways to uh, power up your phone. Now, if you just power on with the power, you're not gonna be able to get root. The new way of um, booting, so every time you reboot your phone, go ahead and power off and hold down volume up, big speed and the power like that. And wait, and then boot it. All right. Now you should see Magisk Manager. Um, go ahead and open. If for some reason you don't see it, you can also go ahead and re-download the same Magisk Manager you downloaded earlier and install it manually. But it should install automatically if you boot it correctly with volume up, big speed and power. That's how you're gonna have to boot up. And as you can see, I have Magisk installed. Uh, it's working It's working flawless here. All right guys, to verify you have full root, go ahead and download Titanium Backup app and let's open it for the moment of the truth. And we should see a super user request window. Boom shakalaka. Hit grant. And your Galaxy S10, S10, E, S10 Plus, A50 should be fully rooted at this point. All right, that's pretty much it. Yeah, now you should have a fully rooted Galaxy S10, S10, E, S10 Plus, or A50. Hit the thumbs up for me. I'll have a great day. If you have any questions, leave in the our new forums. Um, also, you can leave a comment here. All right, and as always, stay on Android. Just subscribe, just subscribe, just subscribe, just subscribe, just subscribe, just subscribe.